Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am just coming on this morning for a short prayer and intention setting session to set our intentions for the day. Today is a brand new day. What does that mean? It means that it is a brand new opportunity, a brand new beginning, that God has woke you up this morning, that all things old have passed away and everything is made new. The only place where the past exists is in your mind, which means you get to choose every single day what you are going to focus on. You get to choose every single day what you're going to hold in your heart and in your head. Now, we know reflection is good. We know that we learn so much from looking at our past and learning the lessons to move forward. But we also can't stay stuck in the past. We can't stay stuck where we used to be. You can't stay stuck with what other people say about you from your past. You can't stay stuck on what one experience with someone taught you or showed you or something you did last year or something you did five years ago and people who try to keep you and hold you hostage to a different chapter in your life. Or maybe you're holding yourself hostage to a different chapter in your life. This morning's message is it's time for a new beginning. It's time for a fresh start. It's time for you to give yourself the option to start over. God, we thank you for new beginnings. We thank you for a fresh start. God, create in us a clean heart. Search us, O oh Lord, that we begin anew, that we receive your grace and your love in such a way that we understand that you keep no record of wrong, that we can choose to move forward in the newness of a new day that we can decide that it's time to write a new chapter in our lives, that we're tired of hurting, we're tired of struggling, that we can lay down our burdens today, and that it's not meant for us to carry the weights that we carry, the burdens of shame, guilt, regret, disgrace. You, it's time. It's time to let go. Some of you feel humiliated over the choices you've made. Some of you feel that, how could I have done that to myself? How could I have chose that? How could I have done that to them? How could I have hurt them? God keeps no record of wrong. Repent. Repent. Forgive yourself. And begin to move forward. Because that's all you can do. You can't change what's happened. You can't change what you did. The highest form of apology is changed behavior. If you can make up your mind, even if that person is no longer in your life, if you can make up your mind to move forward and promise yourself to never do that to someone again, never ever do that to someone again. Spiritually speaking, that goes out into the universe, out into this dimension and brings about healing as a domino effect in the universe. You're sowing that healing into our humanity, into our consciousness to say forgiveness is real. Healing is real. We can decide to change. You can decide right now, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. That doesn't feel good to my soul. I'm not there anymore. I don't live there anymore. God, thank you for a renewed mind. Thank you for a new heart. Thank you that you're not even tempted to even go in that direction again. And that even as you think you might be tempted, you could try to do it. It's just not going to work. And you realize, this isn't me. I've healed beyond this. I don't have to do this anymore. To feel good. Or to seek comfort or relief. 
Do you know that most of our interactions as humans, we're looking for love? But so often we're hurting so badly that we're honestly looking for relief. Can I tell you something? So much of what you're seeking in other people can't be found. They can't heal it. They might be able to give you a moment of relief, a moment of comfort. But nobody else can heal your heart. Nobody else besides you and God can take the pain away. And sometimes you've got to recognize that you're out here seeking something from people that, and they don't have it to give. They're hurting too. They're looking at you. Can you help me? Can you relieve my pain? Can you make me feel better? Can you even give me just a moment relief from the struggling and the suffering that I'm experiencing? They're looking for the same thing from you that you're looking for from them. And we are calling it love. We're calling it seeking love. But have you ever looked up and looked at someone that you were seeking some type of joy or love or ease or comfort or companionship, whatever it is you are looking for, and you look at them and you can honestly say, you don't have anything to give me. You don't have it to give. You don't have it to give. I'm barking up the wrong tree. I need somebody to stop today and be honest with themselves. Some of the people you're trying to engage with, some of the friendships you're trying to hold on to, some of the love interests you're trying to pursue, if you just stop and listen to your spirit, and look at them for who they are and where they're at. And look at yourself and search your heart to understand I'm looking for something in a woman or a man or a friend that only God can give me. Humans are gonna let us down. They're human, they're flawed, they're hurting. They're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Where we go astray is looking for our answers in people that can't give us any. We have to look to source. We have to look to creator. We have to get honest with ourselves. God, we thank you. We thank you for a new day. We thank you for renewed mercies. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. God, give us an attitude of gratitude today for all of our blessings, everything that you're doing in our lives. Continue to show us our pain. Show us the areas where we need correction and healing and love. Reveal us to ourselves. Increase self-awareness and emotional intelligence, God, that we can navigate this thing called life from a place of honesty and authenticity and transparency. God, we thank you. We thank you in advance for a great day. We set our intentions today to be open and full of light and love, to not only bless ourselves, but to bless those around us. Amen. Mwah. Blessings in abundance. Make it a great day, guys. I'll see you back here tonight for the Be Rebecca Lynn Pope Show at 7 p.m. We have two guests tonight. So make sure you join me live at 7 p.m. right here on IG Live. And on YouTube when you catch it on the replay. Love you guys. Bye-bye.